Hey guys, Landon or Normie here. Today I'm bringing you guys a story of one of the dumbest times that I have ever gotten in trouble. Like, ever. Like, I honestly, I'm still pissed off about how dumb this really was. So, basically, I'm just gonna start this off. Um, and this happened about a week ago, kind of. Uh, basically, in my school bathroom, there are these soap dispensers and they have like a plastic case with a cardboard box with a hole in the middle and then there's a bag of soap like a plastic bag full of liquid soap and um on the plastic case there's a pump and at the bottom of the pump there's like a hole that you can shove a pencil or whatever you want up in there and so what happened was about a week ago uh, I went into my school bathroom, uh, this was like, I don't know, I'm pretty sure this was like before my first block even started, like before my first class started, so this was like really early in the morning, and I walked in there, and I had a pencil in my pocket, and then I look over at the pump, and then I'm like, hey, I got a pencil in my pocket, so just, I don't even know what was going through my head when I did this, like, I don't know why I did it in the first place, but basically I walked up there and I like shoved my pencil up in that little hole and I was like moving it around and I was like thinking to myself I was like I wonder that if I put it in the right spot there'll be a latch or something that maybe the plastic case will pop open if I press it right but I never did find a latch so as I was pulling my pencil out of the actual like plastic case I was, I was like pulling it out and then the tip, like the sharp graphite tip of my pencil, like sl sliced, kind of sliced into the plastic bag where the liquid soap was. And as soon as it like sl uh, sliced it like that, there was just a big like mess everywhere. Like uh, liquid soap started pouring out of the actual dispenser and it just got everywhere. It was on the counters, it got on the floor. And obviously, any normal person, when something like this happens, they would be like, okay, well, I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here so that I don't get in trouble, and that's exactly what I did. I just dipped. I got out of there because I knew, like, if I were to stay there, eventually someone were to come in, see that I was the only person there, and then, obviously, they would put two and two together and say, hey, this guy's probably the person that made this huge mess. So I got the fuck out of there, like, as quick as I could, and I went to my first class, and when I got to my first class, everything was fine, you know, 45 minutes went by, like, nothing. And I wasn't really worried that I was gonna get in trouble, but I still sort of, like, had it at the back of my head. I was like, damn, I wonder if, like, they're gonna end up finding out who did it. So, first class went by, nothing happened. And then second class went by, and it was, like, right before second class ended, like, I'd say three quarters into it, uh... Uh, the phone rings in the class and at my school the way they do it is they don't uh, like call you down on the announcements they uh, if it's like for something like that they call you like they'll actually call the classroom and tell the teacher hey this person needs to come down to the office he's in trouble so if you hear your name on the announcements then you're fine but if you get a phone call and then your teacher says yeah you have to go to the office uh, then that's when you know like oh fuck I'm in shit so I'm sitting in class minding my own business doing my work and then the phone rings and then like like I said I didn't think that I got caught for this so when I heard the phone ringing I was like oh someone's in trouble so then the phone rings and then my teacher picks it up and then he's like yeah mm -hmm. and then he looks over at me with a big grin on his face because this teacher did not like me and I didn't like him either and he looked over at me with a big grin on his face, and then he's like, yeah, I'll send him down. So then he hangs up the phone, he looks over at me, still with a big-ass smile on his, on his face, and then he looks at me, he goes, Landon, you gotta go to the office. Uh, so then I, I, I was, like, panicking, because I didn't know why I got sent down. Because, like I said, I didn't think I got caught for the soap dispenser thing, so I... Honestly, like, I d had no idea why I was going down to the office. So I was walking down to the office, and then when I walked into the my principal's office, I sat down, and first thing my principal said to me when I sat down was she, she was like, 
So, before we talk about this, I need to ask you, do you have anything against the school? And I said, no. And then she's like, okay, do you have anything against the janitors? And as soon as she said that, like, as soon as she asked me if I had something, uh, a problem with the janitors, I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I was like, fuck, I know why I'm here. So, uh, I just said no. And then she was like, okay, so then why did you do it? And then, obviously, I was trying to play dumb, so I was like, uh, do what? And then she goes, somebody stabbed a hole in the soap dispenser in the bathrooms and made a big mess for the custodians to clean up. And then I was like, oh, well, with what? And then she goes, I'm not sure. It must have been some sort of pen or some sort of sharp pin. And then she looked at me dead in the eye, and then she goes, but we have security camera footage of you walking into the bathroom holding a pencil or something in your hand and then going into the bathroom for less than a minute, and then coming back out. Uh, And then I was like, well, fuck. Like, in my mind, I was like, shit. Because I already knew that, like, they knew it was me. So then I just told them, I was like, well, it was an accident. And then the teacher, she didn't believe me that it was an accident. So then she was like, well, we're going to have to punish you for this. And she ended up giving me community service. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like detention. But instead of, like, sitting in a room and doing homework, they, like, make you go around the school and, like, clean shit. Or sometimes they'll give you a shovel and go outside and shovel snow. But she ended up giving me community service. And then she called my dad right in front of me. Like, she called him and put him on speakerphone right in front of me. And I'll never forget what she said to him. She basically lied to my dad. Because she didn't even know the true story. But she still, like, technically lied. So... She looked me dead in the eye while saying this, too. While she was talking to my dad, she goes, Yes, so, uh, Landon has purposely been going into the washrooms and making big messes just to make the custodians angry. And I remember I was sitting there, and I was just thinking in my mind, I was like, bull fucking shit. I was like, you don't even know the true story. You weren't there. So... (laughs) I basically, I just sat there, took my punishment. I knew it was a stupid thing to get in trouble for, so I didn't get too upset about it. But whatever, she gave me community service. I left, went on with the rest of my day, got home. My dad yelled at me, and everything was fine. But I just, I can't even believe about how dumb it was. Like, even though I told her, I'm pretty sure that, like, that teacher just wanted to get me in trouble for something. Uh, but... Yeah, so that's basically the end of the video. Uh, Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, I would also just like to let you know that uh, this entire video, I recorded it all, like all the audio and stuff on my PlayStation. I originally planned on recording the audio separately on my laptop, but I wasn't able to do that because something happened and I accidentally broke my laptop. Uh, who knows, I might make a story about that, but, uh, yeah, I accidentally broke my laptop, uh, so this is just temporary, uh, I'm recording this on my old PlayStation mic, but once I get my laptop fixed, then I'll be recording it on an actual recording mic, so, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that, uh, but other than that, please leave a like if you enjoyed, please share this video with your friends, or family, or whoever, It would really help grow my channel, and peace.